Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 14th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. The focus of this video is going to be creating boards with pieces on them. And I think what's I'm probably going to break this out into multiple videos as well, uh, but we should at least be able to uh, start and do some cool stuff. So let's go to our board class here and I am going to introduce in this class a builder. So if you're not familiar with what the builder pattern in Java, again go back and read the effective Java book from Joshua Block that I promoted in earlier videos. But uh, and, and, and what the benefits of a builder are, I'm not going to talk about that here. Uh, but uh, let's, so let's start. So let's say public static class builder. So there's this inner class that's going to help us build an instance of a board. And I am going to say, let's say public board build. This is going to return new board this. Okay, so let's come up here and introduce our constructor. Private board builder. Okay, so that should compile. So, given a, we're going to be able to, we're going to set a bunch of mutable fields on our builder, and then once we invoke build, then it's going to create an immutable board based on that builder. And uh, so, what am I going to need? The first thing I'm going to introduce is a map of an integer to a piece. This is going to be a tile coordinate, right? We talked about how on a chessboard, and I think I still have my. Let's bring up a. Um, chess, uh, we can do it for any piece. Let's pick the king. I mentioned that uh, each tile on a chessboard is going to have an ID on it in our abstraction. So tile ID 0 on A8, 1 on B8, 2 on C8, etc. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then it goes 16, 24, 32, dot, 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 all the way down to uh, 63 on H1, right? So <clears throat> I'm going to map the tile ID uh, of a chessboard to a given piece on that tile ID. Okay, so let's call this the board configuration. Board config. And we want to use, oops, Java Util Map for that. And the only other thing that I want to keep track of right now is the person to move, the person whose turn it is to move on this given board. So I'm going to say Alliance Next Move Maker. Okay. So let's go Public Builder. We want to be. We want to expose. We want to expose the builder constructor as public. And we're going to say public builder set piece on the builder, final piece. And so this is going to say this dot board config dot put, and it's going to get the pieces piece position. And it looks like we don't have a piece position yet. Okay, so let's get piece position and piece. And it's just going to return this dot. It's just going to return this. And let's write a method called public builder set move maker final alliance alliance and say this dot next move maker is equal to alliance or let's just say next move maker to be 
consistent. And return this. So each time we're just sort of we're setting some property of the current builder and returning that builder back to wherever it was called from. And uh, so this dot get piece position is something that we need to introduce. So let's go back to our piece class. And we have a piece position. It's protected. We just haven't exposed it. So let's go ahead and expose that method. Public int get piece position. Turn this dot piece position. So that should solve our compiler error there. Okay, great. So now uh, we have a way to build a chessboard. Um, and what do we want to do next here? Let's go up here and introduce some member fields. So the first member field that I want to introduce is a collection of tiles that is, you know, so I could I could use an array, right? I could use an array numbered 0 to 63. I'm going to choose to use a list. And um, the reason is that you can't really have an immutable array in Java, but you can have an immutable list. So um, let's say private final list of tile game board. And so we're going to say this dot game board is equal to create game board from the builder. Okay. Oops. So let's see how we're going to create a game board. Let's go ahead and write a method that's going to do that for us private static list of tile create game board so let's start with an array of tiles is equal to new tile uh, board utils dot num tile so that's going to create an array of 60 four tiles and let's say four int i equals zero i less than four dot utils dot num tiles i plus plus tiles of i is equal to tile dot create tile, which is a method we wrote early on, and we're going to create a tile numbered, we're, and we're going to create a tile numbered i and board, and, and what we'll say is builder dot board config of get i. I'll explain this in a second. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to say return immutable list dot copy of our tiles. That should be it. So here, let's explain this, what happened here. We just created a method that's going to populate a list of tiles numbered 0 to 63, right? Um, that's going to represent our chessboard. And what's what we're going to see is that in this loop, we go through and we get from the config, wherever we set up our config, we're going to associate, we're going to map a piece onto a tile ID. And then when we call create tile here, we're going to associate, let's say, let's say for example, you know, the builder that we instantiate, let's say we call uh, set piece on the builder and we say set piece 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we say new king, right? So we're setting, we're associating 
the tile ID or the tile coordinate number 4 with that king. Then, back here in our code, in this for loop, we're going to say get from our map get the um, get the get the piece that's associated with tile ID four and create a tile from it. Right. So this is basically a, a basic way to, to create our board. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so now we have introduced a builder and we're going to have a method on here this is where I'm gonna this is where I'll sort of end this video um, we're go I'm gonna introduce this method but I'm not gonna finish it I'll pick it up in the next um, video and, and I think it'll give you a sense of the direction I'm going so we're gonna have public static board create standard board right and create standard board is going to create the initial position for a chessboard. So let's Google that. Chess initial position, Wikipedia. Let's see if we can find that here. So that this is the initial position for a chess game shown here. So what our method in the next video, what our method create standard board is going to do is it's going to use the builder class that we just introduced to create a sta new standard chessboard and from here things will really start to open up we'll be able to write some test cases and um, see our uh, program in action okay thank you